New tonight, a more hopeful future for an infant with a health issue that's difficult to spot, except to those who know what they're looking for. She suffers from a rare condition that can be so hard to detect, even professionals can miss it. In a special report, Kate Nadolski introduces us to a family who struggled with this reality, and now they want others to understand what they're dealing with. If you blink, you might miss it. That right there. You know, her eyes roll in her head, you know, she's, you know, jolting forward, arms coming out. The baby in this video is eight-month-old Zayla Smith. Her parents, George and Tammy Smith of Thomas Township, say she was diagnosed with a condition called infantile spasms. It's a seizure disorder. Symptoms can be hard to detect, but it's common to see a series of sudden jerking movements of the arms and legs and a drop of the head, and in Zayla's case, widening of the eyes. The Smith family says getting this diagnosis was a challenge. It just started one night out of nowhere. Tammy says the spasms started in October of last year when Zayla was five months old. She took Zayla to the emergency room right away. The doctor on call she said she looks like a healthy five-month-old baby and she sent us home. Tammy followed up with her pediatrician the next day but she claims her concerns were dismissed once again. Oh it could just be GERD or, or it could just be you know something with their acid reflux or something along those lines mm -hmm. um, so they sent us away. Before leaving, the Smiths tried to set up an EEG or a brain scan for their daughter, but the next available date was three weeks away. At that point, they just couldn't wait, making the choice to go to CS Mott Children's Hospital in Ann Arbor. Just go down. Just go. Just yeah, go to the emergency go. room. Don't call. Just go. Mm -hmm. So she left work early. You know, I called in that day, so in tears, you know, just frazzled. But from there, things got better. They were absolutely amazing. She got a diagnosis the same day. She got put on treatment. They gave, had an EEG all within 12 hours of us being there. Zayla was treated with steroids and hasn't had a seizure in several months. A great outcome in this case. But as U of M resident of pediatric neurology, Tara Surtees points out, things don't always end well for those with this condition. If they go untreated, they can cause what we call regression of milestones, meaning that children can lose their skills. Um, and it can also lead to long-term cognitive problems. Surtees says this condition is relatively rare, happening in children three to eight months of age. Infantile spasms occurs in about three to four out of every 10,000 infants, so fairly uncommon. She recognizes the importance of doctors being well informed about this condition, since it can be difficult to diagnose. Training is helpful and it's important to keep infantile spasms on your differential or on the doctor's radar. Once the seizures are treated and controlled, it doesn't mean the condition has gone away. The Child Neurological Foundation says children who have quick treatment, normal development prior to the spasms, and no identifiable cause may do well. However, about 60% of children with infantile spasms will go on to develop other type of seizure disorders in the future. In addition, children with this condition are at a higher risk of autism. The Smith family says they're grateful that Zayla is doing better, but they wish healthcare professionals would have been able to make a quicker diagnosis. They now want the world to know just how serious this condition can be. It's an emergency. It needs to be treated as like a stroke or a heart attack. And if you notice any odd movements from your child, Tammy says the best thing you can do is document them with a video. Make sure you have video, because without a video, they don't take you seriously. Like, you need proof, and that video is the proof. And always, take a closer look. Now, something you can keep in mind is the acronym STOP. The letter S for see the signs, T for take a video, O for obtain a diagnosis, and P for prioritize treatment. Reporting in the studio, Kate Nadolski, WNEM, TV5.